Do we hang on to the coattails of hedge funds following their 13F filings knowing there is a significant lag? The opaque world of hedge funds prevents us from seeing any short positions and therefore the full picture. But if we concentrate on net long funds, it can definitely benefit idea generation. And idea generation is what we do here at the Hedge Fund Tracker Report, which takes us a unique and aggregate look at what the 10 largest pure play hedge funds, as determined by their equity assets, are holding, buying and selling. This quarter, Citadel and Renaissance were top two hedge funds, followed by Millennium Management, which jumped to third spot ahead of ICANN. Hottest sector was Infotech, $1.5 billion increase, followed by uh, Healthcare, which was a $1.4 billion as well. Financials down $2.3 billion, with a decrease in American International Group and Crown Castle International. Now, on the bright side of the street, uh, consumer discretionary company Netflix, who reportedly signed up more than 1 in 10 British households, breaking the 3 million subscriber barrier, had a $752 million worth of buys with two hedge funds making the brand new positions in the company since last quarter. Six hedge funds now hold the stock with a total value of $1.9 billion. Apple saw the second highest level of new buying uh, among the 10 hedge funds with $855 million. Last quarter, there was ambivalence with large buying and selling of the stock, but not this time around. In fact, Apple is the second spot when we rank the top 100 stocks for the 10 hedge funds with a staggering $7.2 billion overall holding. And at number one, Ackman sparked Allergan interest, and this is probably why it was the top new buy with $1.4 billion in new positions, six funds holding the stock. Two thumbs down from media stocks, however, as 21st Century Fox was most sold position among the top 10 hedge funds with $1.3 billion sell-off. This came from five out of the top 10 hedge funds, reducing their existing positions. Verizon and Time Warner, second and third biggest sell-offs with 1.1 billion and 992 million respectively. That's it for this installment. Do check out the full report and follow me on twitter.com slash Until next time.